Hi all, it's Sunday the 15th, I'm sweating like a pig, I've uh, not long been home, Sundays I'm always at mum's, stepdad has decided to uh, rearrange his workshop again, <laughs> I've now got a ton of stuff here to sort through. Cat has also pissed me off. I'll show you what he's done in a minute. He's actually hiding up now because he knows he's pissed me off. Look at that. Frickin' mess I've now got to clean up because he's been on there. Anywho, a few bits here. Gave me this. I had all these um, little railway bits in. And all these bits in that I've just emptied out. There's all sorts. Um, there's a lot of stuff I could actually put on eBay. Like uh, these signals. As, uh, he can't be asked, basically. What's this? Oh, something else I could stick on eBay. Three link couplings. So, eBay stuff can go over there. Red LED on a post. I have no idea what he was going to do with that. What are these? What do you have? Oh! Six pin decoder socket with eight pin plug. Okay. Another item for eBay. That would have been for his little Arduino, which I half inched out of this ages ago. What the? Yes. Oh, I know what that is. It's for what they call a phallus system. Where you can, um, where they have like die cast cars going around on a road. That's what all this is. There's the, the wheels for it. The front wheels that would steer that you would modify your die cast car with eBay. <laughs> don't need them, don't need them, don't need them. Oh, I've got some bits, bits of heat shrink here as well. There's another signal. I might put the signals all on as one sort of eBay job lot, I think. Get rid of it. These train wheels, I'll go on as an eBay job lot. No idea what's in there. What's this? Paperwork is not needed. That's why I ain't sitting level. Right. Oh, oh, insulating bushings. What I might do, I might put the Fowler system stuff together. Crimp connector housing. Oh! That's what these are. Oh, I'll definitely keep hold of those for myself. I really need a momentary switch. No, not really. eBay. Magnets I will keep. No. What's in here? Little sort of brassy lampy things. You do if you're in doubt, you chuck it into this. Oh, 
But no, but looks like it can go with that. Empty bag. I've got some miscellaneous sort of train bits there. I'll keep hold of that little board and that. That's been cut off for some reason, so it ain't no good, is it? What we got? Crocodile clips, more stuff, magnetite. I've got a drawer for crocodile clips already. Bits of servo. We ain't no bloody good in bits of servos, anyway. We'll go in the bin. Red lead. Clips over there. We don't know. Another lead. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want those either. Oh, that's a magnet. I'm keep hold of it. Train wheels can go over there. A block of wood. We don't need that, do we? Any idea? <laughs> Not no use for it. Some more heat shrink. What do I do with the other heat shrink I picked up? No idea what they're for. It's an engine coupler. You know, if I get all these old. Uh, train wheels and things and put them together I could put them together as a job lot and uh, see what I can get for them and start them as an auction I think and these are engine pieces and whatnot could do with a little container I forgot I had my foot on the pedal and then a little container and put them in um, I want to use those. Uh. Hmm. I can't put them. I know, I'll put them over here for the time being to want to find out. Ah! Better idea! Close that lid and I'll put them all on there. I've no idea what that is. I've just noticed there's some um, wagon couplers on here as well. So, you know, someone who does model railways might buy this just simply for the spares to fix theirs or whatever. So I know damn well this will be something that I can sell. Probably not for a great deal. I don't think that lot's worth a great deal, but something's better than nothing. The signal doofy. What's this? No idea. Tiny little motor, I'll keep that. Keep that. There's another thing to go over there. Just remember why I kept my foot on the pedal now. So I could just do that. Keep that. Uh, I'll keep that. Little nut and bolt. It's got to go over there with the other bits. Um. Do that with these as well, include those and small wheels. <laughs> it was upside down, I didn't realise that was a wheel. Gear wheel, I keep that's rubbish, rubbish. Right, I do believe 
most of what's left on here is rubbish. Bring the inside of the bin up. Keep that header as well, I think. Solid. Some, this bloody thing to sort out next and then something else to sort out but I'm not going to do that yet so I don't think I actually want what's in it I just want the box no idea what that is Didn't actually go in the bin. So, slide this one over. Slide that over there. It's got to be all cleaned. There is literally all sorts in here. I can't remember. I gave him these fans for something, and I can't remember what he was going to do with them. But they can go in my boxes of fans in the bedroom. show you briefly what's in this, not a lot. Got some more LED lights here and I've got one of these in the backing plate to use. He's got a whole box of these but you won't part with them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure I can do something with those. I've got some more heat shrink there. And I've got these um, sort of crimp connectors for speaker wire and phone wire and whatnot. That I rescued. There was more, but I couldn't be asked to sift through it all. Uh, what we got? Other than that, there's not a lot in the top. There's some uh, wall plugs, uh, some dowels. I don't think I need those. Screws, punch thing, another punch thing, chuck key, and a screwdriver. Either, and a, a bunch of random screws basically that is it <laughs> that's all that's in this one. Oh, big ass hole cut a bit well not a hole cut a bit because it's got the stopper on there right now before we go on to the next set of drawers I'm going to bring this up like I said I was getting a new computer. <laughs> Dust all over my hands and all over that. But uh, I'm not going to go into detail in this video. I'll do that in another video. And what I plan to do with it, I'm just going to show you. Let's take out these thumb screws just to prove I've got a motherboard in there. There we go. Oh, you can see it just. There we go. <laughs> there is a motherboard in there. A dual core processor in it, but I can't remember exactly what sort. Um, I've got two fans in the front. He's let me have with it. One in the back. Um, yeah, basically just for that lot, it's costing me a hundred quid. So I've got a hundred quid's worth of computer here that I've got to plug in, you know, um, I'll get a video card for it, yeah, DDR4 RAM, and possibly a power supply, because I need an 8-pin 
connector up the top here and I don't think any of mine have it. Which isn't a bad thing because I wanted to buy another processor, um, not a processor, let's get that bloody thing on. Another um, power supply for this anyway. I could steal it out of my computer over here but nah, I don't want I'm not really. I've got to take it off the tripod for the next thing. But uh, this is going to wait until after Christmas now. On account of I have limited funds. <laughs> and what I might do is actually transfer this to the other case as well. Just because the other one's got better airflow because it's bigger. But then again, I can put the same number of fans in and if I put a couple in the top here it won't be no different to that one so I might give it a go with this keeping in mind as well I have a PC running all day so I'll compare the two cases when I go into this in more detail when I've found out what process well if I can find out what processor that is I just know it's an Intel dual core but it's not a socket um, 775 it's an LGA something so next one above, so. Right. I'll take you off there, don't I? Whee! There's the front of it. Two fans in the front. I can put a disk drive up there, which I might do. Then again, do I really need to? As I don't use it that often, and I could just as easily use one of these. You know? Just have it, I don't know, sat up here or something. Or sat on the desk or something, you know, I think of something. Right, I'm just going to turn the fan off. I'm still going to sweat. <laughs> right. I'm getting this from when he did all his uh, railway stuff. It's the stuff he doesn't use. He actually hasn't looked at any of this since, uh, since they moved, actually. So, uh, no. ah, that's where I put it. That's the chicken for Nemo. That's probably what he could smell and why he's being a pain in the ass. There's some grass stuff there. See, there's an empty packet for something there. Ruler, scissors, pliers, screwdriver, coil, cotton buds. Cocktail sticks, screwdriver. I don't think he cares about the screwdrivers or anything because he's got shitloads of those already in the workshop. Oh. Holy hell. I have not got the foggiest. It's a drill tool of some sort. I have no idea. Instructions for his electronic digital caliper. There's a lot I've got to go through and chuck. There's a spanner, more pliers. Ooh, that'll be handy. It's going to need a bloody good clean, but that will be handy. Look at him. You have pissed me off. And what's that? I don't know if that's actually on my lens or what it is, but I just noticed it's like a patch. So I used a wet wipe to clean it. I think it's actually on my lens. <laughs> oh well. What have we got in there? We got a shit ton of wire. And some tools. <coughs> What's this? Got no idea what the hell this oh it's a old scale electric trigger, wire cutters, there's a motor. There's whatever the hell they are. Big ass switch. Some more tool and shit. <laughs> Look at this. Whee! The idea with that is you can put whatever you're modeling or whatever on that and then rotate it to paint it or work on it or whatever. See that? That's for the bit. 
little glue gun. What look like more train parts in the bottom. A bigger one of these. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot else in there. Oh, there's another little pin hammer. And a big ass roll of uh, copper wire. <laughs> a very big ass roll of copper wire. I don't think it's an animal coat. What's this? Made in England, whatever it is. That is that. There. <laughs> Gone through everything. Oh. I do need to get a new chair because this one is seriously too low. Alright. Get me wet wipes and I'll clean down those. Uh, I'll have to find glasses later. Right. Hmm. Which I think it might be on my screen because like I said I used a a wet wipe. I think it is drying out slowly. I might have just got a bit of water under the screen. Can't see it on the lens. I did dry it though. Hmm, okay. Let's still see what I'm doing so I don't give a fudge. Anyway, that is it for this little video. Uh, I'll do more on the computers in another one. But until then, thanks for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.